Well, hello friends, Rick Bray with the Plick team at Broom Taragaboses, and I'm uh, here to talk with you about one of the features of the premium version of Screencastify, which is the Screencastify Editor. Pretty cool thing that I learned about today a little bit more, which I'm excited about. So when you have the extension, uh, I think, you know, we've talked about in other videos, you can record, that's great. Uh, and if you go, when you're done, it would take you to a page that looks kind of like, oh, I don't know, this one, um, where you can do all this stuff to it and you can open it in editor, which allows you to just boop, go right over to Screencastify's editor. Full disclosure, this is a really, really, really light editor. And what I mean by that is it gives you the ability to cut uh, a, a clip so you can like segment it and remove parts. It lets you crop the video so you can resize it, it lets you zoom in and then it automatically zooms out or you can put text over it. That's it. Those are your options. Okay. But for the most part, this is going to take care of a lot of what we want to do. But what if you have a video like, oh, I don't know, maybe a zoom recording and you need to cut part of it out. How can I do that? Oh boy. Well, if you notice right down here, this little plus button. Yeah, I missed it. This blue plus button. When I click on that, I can import a, and let's get rid of this, right? I'll select it. Notice how when I select it, it turns yellow. And I'm going to say trash, delete. Um, but when I select this uh, blue plus, I can upload a video that's either in Google Drive or on my computer. That's pretty darn cool. So I'm going to upload a file that's on my computer and we're going to do this one that I, uh, that we'll do this one. And it's going to take a little bit, depending on how big the video is, it needs to process it. That's going to take some time. Uh, as you can see it, the bigger the file, the more it's got to process. So I'm going to give this a little bit of time here and fast forward to the point where it's done processing. All right, so now that that has finished uh, doing its little thinking thing, um, the tricky part is in order to use any of these tools, you have to make sure that the clip is selected. And sometimes that can be a little tricky, I'll, I'll admit. Um, but, right, as I kind of scroll, I can move. As I scroll through, this little white bar represents where I'm watching. If I hit play, it's going to talk. You can hear it. And you can see the bars moving. That's great. And then I say, you know what? Burp, that, that's where I need to cut my video. I'm just going to click the little scissors boop, and you notice it cuts it into two parts. Now, if I put the timer here, I can't cut because the clip isn't selected. So I click over here and it's selected, but oh, my little timer thing moved. So that's where it gets a little tricky, but um, I can cut it again. And now I can whoop, delete that part and poof, it's gone, right? I have two different parts here. Um, I can also, like I said, insert a text box if I want and say like, yeah, write something. Uh, I can right here, I can add a zoom in. And here it's asking me like what you want to zoom in on, right? So I want to make it a really tight zoom and I'm going to drag it to that part right there. And what you'll see happens now when it plays, let's mute this so you don't hear it. Uh, da, 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 here we go. So it will, blah, 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 and then whoo, zoom. And then whoop, zoom back out, right? And yes, I can certainly click on this and drag to make that zoom take a longer period of time if that's what I want. Uh, but the big thing that I wanted to showcase was that cutting ability. Uh, and then I can just click on the clip and I think you can hit the, yep, you can hit delete on your keyboard or click the little trash can. When you're all done, you export it, boom. You can pull any video file you want into Screencastify's editor and use some real basic tools to edit it up. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me or your, uh, if you're in another district, your tech integration specialist, but I'll try and answer your question if I can. Um, but thank you for all your hard work. And as always, thank you for watching.